Welcome to the vlog. 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 Welcome to the fucking vlog, season two. Welcome to the vlog. It was my first day back on campus and Turner drove me to the bus stop but not all the way to campus so feel free to send him a moderate amount of hate. Um, the commute actually wasn't that bad. I got to class, I had corpus linguistics, and I had morphology and both were pretty decent. I got to leave campus pretty early which was nice so I got home, did a bit of work, and then it was time for us to go skiing. It wasn't my turn to drive, thank god, so I just got to relax. Emotional and stable people make great content. Molly did a great job of driving us there. I was so relaxed I fell asleep for almost the whole car ride and I helped her with her school project. Oh hi, didn't see you there. My name's Walter Derby. I'm a second year art and forestry student at the University of British Columbia. I hope you'll take into consideration that I'm physically fit. I have a functional knowledge of plant biology and ecology and then I'm first aid certified and safety conscious. Signing off from Cypress Mountain, Malika Granby. The sky was absolutely beautiful that night and of course we came home and had pizza. That was really fun. Every one of them turned out really well and was just super yummy. Bubbles plus roasted potato. Mm. Mm. Can you oh get my, my God, cup so any on the carpet? Wow. Yes. Ended the night by just doing homework. I felt like this first day back went pretty well. I didn't really do much at school because the lab that I was supposed to have on Monday, it turns out it's like a group project. So you can kind of just figure out on your own time when you want to do stuff. So that's great for me. I am going to go to bed because it's about 10 o'clock now and I'm getting up early to work out. So I just want to make sure that I have enough sleep and I don't want to just get too worked up with school before it's really necessary. Next day was pretty decent. I got up and I went to the gym and it was such a nice walk to get up there. I did legs and that was really fun. It's always good to talk to those two. And then I rode the bus to school and walked all the way to Orchard to have my sentiment analysis class. And then we walked over to a another building to do our machine translation course. Then I had a meeting with my group and then me and Oksana and Shini went to our lab and that was pretty decent. We walked back and I took the bus home and relaxed and did homework for a big chunk of time before going out to meet Zach and Silk after their lecture. What are the odds of these two getting in a class together? It was so much fun like just hanging out with them. I had such a good time at dinner. We just laughed a lot. I am definitely ready to go to bed. I just wanna, turns out all my labs for tomorrow and Thursday are online so I can go home to do them, which is exciting. Yeah, that's all that's really going on. I'm looking forward to finishing this week and getting started on reading week. Okay, I'm heading off to the gym with Angela and George right now and look, it's not completely pitch black. This is about the time that I would leave to get to school for my 8 a.m. classes, and it's really nice outside. Overall, I feel good. I'm a little groggy and tired right now, so I think that's perhaps contributing to the fact that I feel a little on edge and irritated. Hoping today's workout goes well. We're doing, that, well, I'm doing upper body. Also hope that school and driving goes well. We all had a pretty successful workout and we did a pretty hard ab circuit while we were there. I bust over to UBC and had my morning classes. It went pretty well and I went driving afterwards with my dad and Molly and I didn't feel like super amazing about the driving but obviously we're all in one piece so it's fine. Did homework and then me and my sister went to my grandparents for dinner. It was so much fun. Molly had brought some beers to share with my grandfather. Do you like it? My grandmother made such a beautiful dinner. I was so hungry and ate so much. It was great and we all watched some TV together before I had to head back and do some work and editing. Thursday was another early start, but the workout was really good, kicked my butt, and then I bust out to UBC for my lectures. I had my sentiment analysis class and my machine translation course. Both were pretty good, and then I got to go home because like I said, labs were online, and I was starving by the time I got home and was honestly feeling really sleepy, but I powered through it. I was really stir crazy because I had worked for four hours, so I took some time to make myself dinner, and that was kind of relaxing. I edited Turner's paper for a little bit and I finally had dinner after that but overall this night was not very relaxing. Wow I'm so happy. So I finished a huge thing today 
basically I was able to create a function to scrape all the reviews off of like a Goodreads book. Let me show you. So basically this is the Goodreads book, that, like for example, and then I was able to create a function that could like go through and take all of these reviews, get all the text, get all the like star ratings, and then also get like the book title and the author. And the part that I'm super excited about is that I also was able to grab um, all of the recommended books as well. I guess the reason that was exciting is because from there, as soon as they have the URL for the books that are recommended, I would repeat the process process on each of those books recommended and then for each of those books you get information from the recommended books and that way we can really really quickly rack up like a ton of uh, data for reviews so when I was kind of thinking about this project I kind of felt nervous about how we would even do this because basically Goodreads like um, discontinued their API so I was kind of like what the like how but I figured out how we were gonna do it. And I still have to do like a ton of testing to make sure everything works. But like the fact that it's feasible to do is really exciting. So yeah, I'm done with that. I have another assignment done. So I basically only have two things that I still have to do, which is nice. Tomorrow I'm dedicating like almost all of tomorrow to do that. I'm still creating some time to see people and have fun. But um, overall, I'm really just really trying to get everything done tomorrow so that Come Saturday, I don't have to do anything and I'm able to just relax for reading week. After my workout with George, we went and got coffee and that was really nice. There was a cute dog in the car. As soon as I got home, it was just like tons and tons of homework. I had to do a meeting and after I was done, I went to go get lunch with Zoe and Molly. There was corgis on the way. That was fun. Nice shoes. <laughs> Did homework and this guy was so beautiful. As a safety conscious, okay. I did it, okay? Like, don't mock me. I was editing a project for Molly. After several hours of work, I'm finally done my homework. Thank God, I am just so done with everything. I know that I've only been in school for like a week since finishing my last vlog, but I'm trying to think. I feel like every other time I had a, like a longer break in between the blocks, like basically with the first block, I had like a Thanksgiving weekend. With the second block, I had reading week after. And then with the third block, I had winter break. After finishing this one, we literally like went straight into the next one. So it's nice that we have reading week next week before having to do week two. Carbonara, Bigolian carbonara. Vegan, vegan carbonara. The carbonara my dad made was super tasty, but that's expected. He makes good pasta now. <laughs> oh my God. I met up with Rory and Shrek and we went to Rowan's house. Hey vlog, we're here with Shrek today. Shrek's <laughs> coming with us. There was a Shrek theme party going on. That was really fun. Everyone was so dressed up except for us. Whoops. And there was a really nice cake there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I had a delicious breakfast of vegetables and tempeh. And then I walked over to Hardware Dance Center and I was supposed to get a video from the teacher, but I didn't. So you will not see me dancing. I had my lunch with my grandparents and then I went over to Savella to get my hair cut. I was super happy with the results. It was just something subtle and a trim. Then I got home and I got ready to go to Issa's goodbye party. My, my mom very kindly gave me an Uber there and this is Issa setting up her little station to give away a bunch of clothes. It's actually such a smart idea to be able to give away clothing. I took a couple good pieces from her and it was just a super fun night where we got to celebrate Issa and Noah and the food there was just delicious. We all ate so much sushi and cheese spread and wine. It was just really fun. I was really tired by the end of the night though. The next day I woke up and I was just exhausted and my room was looking horrible, so I had to clean that up. Yeah, I'm honestly feeling super sleepy today. I'm kind of out of bed. Meeting up with friends during the day, so I'll probably just segue my walk into meeting up with them. We're excited for that. I'm seeing Turner today, which will also be fun. I had a really fun day. I went out for a walk and that was so beautiful and there's some cherry blossoms showing up, so I feel like hopeful about spring. Peaceful was fun and we got to meet Sam's girlfriend. She's so lovely. It was really fun and we walked around for a little bit and I was just really tired. So. Just got home. We had such a fun day together. I'm just really tired. I felt like I had only like 15 minutes at home and I couldn't even rest because I was just trying to do the recycling before I left. Go to Turner's house and I'm just tired. Ugh, I just I can't wait to be on the Sky Train and to 
actually just sit down and then it turns house obviously i'll be able to relax more the traffic was absolutely awful so i had to walk to Ford station i was really exhausted and then i took the sky train there me and turner watched euphoria together and we just chilled in bed so the euphoria episode was really good but it had a whole to be continued thing so i don't get to see the ending until next week hello <laughs> Okay, I need to keep going. I'm trying to finish this. I am. <laughs> I'm happy it's reading week. I'm happy I can finally just relax for a week, and even though I probably won't relax because I'm me, but I don't really have anything like super huge planned. Just gonna hopefully hang out with people. I might do a dance class. I still have to think of a title for this vlog. I have no fucking clue what it's gonna be. We'll figure it out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.